could open up a sales order and choose uh, uh, one of our regular customers. And in the item field, I'm going to just uh, select one of my items. I don't know if you guys can see the uh, the field here. It's it's blue. Um, the unit price and the discount fields are blue. Uh, if not, just take my word for it. They are blue because we have special pricing, and that's not really why I'm, I'm what I'm going to discuss here. However, if I go over into the price field, I'm going to use my two finger shortcut Control Tab, and it's going to pull up a history of some information that could be useful when I'm entering a sales order. So in this case, and give me a combination of this customer C2000 and the item number A001, and I'm looking at the little history of what has transpired for that combination uh, the last 10 instances, for example. Okay, and, I'm, and I can pick and choose whether I want to see invoices, deliveries, or not. I can pick and choose where I want to include special pricing, which is really where our original price came from, but it doesn't matter. And I can drill down and look at the details of those golden arrows. I can put a maximum quantity that I want to see. So let's say I want to see a maximum quantity of 10. Refresh this. I can see the last 10 up to a quantity of 10. All right, and then a, a limit on my date range. And I can, uh, I can decide to say take, uh, let's see, I have a delivery on here. So if I don't want to see deliveries, um, it will just show me the last 10 uh, without deliveries. Um, the other thing I can do is I can deselect the business partner code and refresh, and this will give me all other customers, including the one that's on this list. All right, so if I want to see everybody else, uh, again, it's only for the spe specific item, but uh, it, will, uh, it will show you. And if I decide to choose perhaps uh, this particular one here, and if you notice, when I entered my order, it, it did find a price. However, if I want to select this one, I can double click it or say OK. It will populate my order with whatever was in that, uh, in that row on my choose from list.